Mr. Kadoka email. What do you respond to me? Adam, Mama. Adam, Adam, Mama. Yeah, supposed to say something. Adam, Mama. Yep. Okay. Um, I have to connect. I got you a higher. You all know my name by now, so you're supposed to know your own name too. I know the meaning of your name. Um, last week we did um. We had a present uh, a speech um um special guest that gave us a speech on Igbo culture and about Igbo, uh, Kola Nut. I couldn't go there for some reason. You missed the class. I don't know why you did. I know some of you struggled. And please, when I meet you, do not unmute yourself. I don't want to see that. Okay, so we're going to do some things today. A mecca needs to come in the meeting. Do not unmute yourself again. You mute your, if you unmute yourself, I take you out. Don't unmute yourself, please. Okay, so I'm going to start the class. So now everybody can see me. You can see my video now. Um. Today we're going to do something. Uh, I don't want to waste a lot of time before starting this class. Uh, we have something that is called preposition. So we have preposition. And preposition, I always mention that. I say, please, preposition. When you're about to say something, opu, abua, and then when you go to like uh, joining something, so the preposition is something, the word, uh, they are the words that you use before noun or pronouns, you use it to join two things as well, or uh, when you're trying to combine things. So that's what you call preposition. Uh, so, okay, so I believe all of you can see me now. So the preposition we are talking about right here is this. I'm going to break it down a little bit uh, to help you understand. So when you're doing something, for example, when you're trying to say na, and we have several ways we can write na. So let me make this big. Make it like 22. Okay, so you want to write na. You want to say John. Na, emeka, or you say emeka na uche. So you put that na, and we have two ways we can write na. Okay, we have two ways we can say na. Either you write it with an apostrophe, you write it with your na, or you can contrast it. So you can write it na like this, or you can write it like this. When you're trying to say na olo. Now, if you look at the example I gave you here, it says, Uche na chinyere. Uche na chinyere, uche na chichi. Na olo. You can also, there's the other ways, the other words about na. You can say something like, let's try to say about. Okay, so, if you want to, pre prepositions, let me repeat again for some of you that are just coming in. Preposition. I see some people coming in. Okay, the preposition I was used to show the location of something. Oh no, na ime apa. It means it is inside the bag. Oh no, na. You use it to show where the position of something is. Okay. So preposition. Uh, prepositions I was used to show uh, the location of something and sometimes I'll go back okay and sometimes let me see can you see the okay you can see the screen I'm sharing uh, sometimes um where things are located time wise okay so use it to 
tell somebody this is where it is. The location of something. Or where things are located. So that's how I'm going to put it. It's the same way it is in English, that's the same way it is in Hebrew. So use the preposition to join something as well. All right, so if I want to say something like, uh, let's use about. Let's say something other than na. Na is one of them. And they want to say about. Um, if you want to say about. Okay, so let me see. I want to make sure I'm recording this class. I want to make sure it's recording. Can everybody hear me? Yes. 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 Talking. I'm here. I didn't leave the class. I am still here. I did not leave the class. Just want to find. The... Okay. So don't unmute yourself again. All right. So I'm going to share the screen again. Okay. So if I'm saying something like this about. And when I say about, I'm talking about something. I want to say about something like this, about three or uh, around something. So, but let's take it one after another. So, I said none is a preposition. I want to say neka, na, ngozi, we, gabia, nolom, neka, ngozi will come to my house. So, that's how you use it. Neka, ngozi will come to my house. Neka nangozi gabia na olom. So let me write here before I use about. Neka na. I can use the N A or I can also say N and then Neka na. So these are both ways you can write it. Ngozi. Well, gabia ga, abia. It means ga abia na olom, and this olom. Remember the sound o, and this u should be punctuated because of the sound o, ulo, ulo, u. So that. You see the you should be punctuated. Ola, ola. So let's punctuate the you. And pay attention to that whenever you're doing something. Don't think that, oh, it shouldn't be punctuated. It should. But if you listen to the sound, the sound is what is going to tell you what you're supposed to do. So you have to train your ears. So ola. So we're going to punctuate the you and then o, la. O la. Okay, so. Uh huh. Neka na ngozi gabia. Gabia means welcome. Welcome. Neka na ngozi gabia. Neka an ngozi. Welcome. Welcome. Okay. Gabia means welcome. Let me set it up. I'm going to write it in English. Neka and Ngozi Welcome to my house. Neka and Ngozi will come to my house. So that's how you say this one. So we use the na to make the sentence. So 
if you want to use uh, another preposition and you say something like above now let's use the word uh, above so you say above we're going to say above here let's write above so we use the word now yeah or something like this okay you contrast it don't forget these are two ways you can use now i don't want anybody to be confused if you are confused write your question down you can ask me later so now we're going to use the word about uh, above let's use this word above Okay, when you say above is something that is nelu, na elu. Okay, above means elu. And this na means and, and the and. Okay, so na above means something like elu, na, elu. So you have to join it with something like elu. Na, elu. And let me use this now. Elu, above, nelu. It is above the lamp. It is above the chair. It is above the rack. So all this thing. On on a elu, on on a elu is above the table. It's on the table. So these are ways you can use the word na. On on a elu. Now you're looking for something and you want to know where is it? Where is it? Onona elu oche oche means table. Onona elu oche. So let's use elu oche. Onona elu ono elu oche. All right. Onona elu oche. It is above. The chair is on the chair. We can say on on a elu olo. If you, okay, let's use olo. On on a elu olo. And olo, remember I say you have to punctuate it. You listen to the sound. I didn't say o. I said o olo. On on a elu olo. On on a elu olo. So let's put it here. Ola means a house. When I say something is uh, uh, above, it is above. Nelu. It is on top. Okay? So it's something that is elu, above it. Look on top of it. Look above it. Don't look down. It's elu. That's what it is. Elu. Ola. Okay? On on elu ola. Above the house. And don't forget all represents it. She. He. Don't forget. That's our pronoun. Oh no. It is. So, oh no. It is. Oh no. Okay. Oh no. Na elu. Olo. And then elu is the key word, which is above. It is above. Stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's okay, on. I'm going to block this person. This is the last warning. Don't un unmute yourself. You do it again, I will take you out of the class. You don't make noise in this class. On on a elu, on on a elu, olo. I will meet everybody. Do not unmute yourself. You do that again, I will know, and I will take you out of the class. If I take you out, I won't let you in. So, parents, if you're staying with the, any of the eight year old or seven, please do not let them unmute because the class is going on. Thank you. Okay. So now, on on a elu, 
if you want to say, okay, you and I will be going to the mall. Okay. I will say now, uh, Ebuka and I will be going to the mall. Mu na Ebuka. See how I switched it. Mu na Ebuka. So I come first in Igbo. But in English, grammatically, you have to say, you and I will be going to mall. But when you're translating it to Igbo, mu, so you put yourself first. Mu na Ebuka. Mu, me, and Ebuka. But in English, to put it in a grammatical way, me and you, it's not a good grammar. It's not a good grammar. Me and you. People say that, but it's not a good grammar in English. It's supposed to be you and I. But in Igbo, it's the other way. Mu, na, Ebuka, Gaga, na, mall. So it means you and I will go to the mall. That's what it is. Okay. Now let's go over here. It is on the floor. It is on the floor. Oh no, na. Allah. Ulo. See that? It is on the floor. Oh no, na. Allah. Ulo. Floor means Allah. Ulo. The floor is called Allah. Ulo. Don't forget that. You need to know these words. Because when you're making sentences, you need to use all these keywords to make your sentence. Onona, ala, olo, ala, olo. Elu, olo, means above. Ala, olo, means the floor. Okay? Nala. I see how I contrasted it. See, you can use N-A. You can use N. Contrasting it before writing. So. These are two ways you can use now. It is allowed to use it this way. So don't get confused when I give you homework or when I say something um, and you get confused. What does this now mean? They are the same. Okay, now we are going to use the word stop. See the word the top. Elu. Remember when I say above? The top is also elu. The top is elu. Na elu oche. And then see another way I put na. You can say na. You can write this way. Elu oche. On a chair. Under is another word. We have under. It's opuru. Under means what? Opuru. Something that is under. Opuru oche. Opuru uh, aqua. You can say opuru apa. Apa means a bag. Onona opuru apa. Which means it's under the bag. Okay? So let's use a bag here. Onona opuru teburu. And you see how I wrote teburu here? It's not the same way you say English table. Teburu. Teburu is spelled in Igbo way because there's no other word they call it. This is what we know how it's called or how it's pronounced. Teburu, not tebu. This is the Igbo way. Teburu. Don't spell it like in English way. Okay, so oh no, na. Oburu teburu. Okay, so it's going to be it is under the table. It is under the table. So that's how you say it. But this is how you spell table in Igbo. Okay, so the key word here is Oburu. And you see how I wrote na. You can also do na. I keep stressing on that because I know some people will tell me, oh, I don't know what the other one is. So you need to know it. So the key word here is Oburu. On on a oburu table. Okay? On that is the key word. Na oburu. Na oburu. Now, we also have another word. Uh, there's another word called uh, before. After. Okay? I was here before you. I came here before you. 
Okay, so let's use the what? Ah, this is going bad. Okay, so we're going to use, um, I'm going to use this word here. So if you see here, I broke it down. I say noun. So I needed to know which one is the noun. Okay? And then preposition, how we joined it. And then specifying what we did. Okay, so because you're going to do this. So when you say elu, which is above, on top. You see that? Elu, above, which is on top. Now, you say here, oburu, under. And you see how we use it on a preposition. Oh, no, no. Okay? And then you say also, akoko, the side. The side is akoko. The edge of something. Or your left side, your right side, your left side. Your right side, your left side. The side of the room, the left side of the room, the right side of the room. Akoko. Anything that is side is said, it's called akoko. Akoko, which means the side of a something. Okay. Uh, or the age is on the side. Okay. Kedebe ono. Kedu ebono means where is it? Then I say choya. Choya means look for it. Choya na akoko. Um, akoko apa. Okay, look for it by the side of the bag. Okay, Toya na kuku a bagi. Give me you. Toya, look for it. Toya, cho something. Cho, so, cho, cho. Mr. Look. Toya, look for it. Na kuku a bag. Okay, by the side. Okay, of the bag. Okay, so that's how you put it. A kuku, beside something. Okay, side of something. Okay, nime. The word nime, yeah. It's inside. Nime, interior, something that is inside. Inside something. Nime. Soya nime uloge. It means look for it in your room. Nime, inside your room. Okay, so ime means inside. Look for it inside your bag. Soya nime apage. So these words you use them to make sentences. Nime, nime. You have to put that na to make the sentence. Whatever word that you're trying to join, you have to use the word na. Okay. Okay, these are the words nelu, ime. Uh, okay, so the word about. Okay, so let's use this in about. Basara, something that ha has something to do with something. Basara, banyere. We have three words about about. About one is, I'm going to write three of them here. Okay, so one. Uh. No question until after the class. Okay, about is something like uh banyere inhe deka. Inhe deka. Another word is a banyere. And the other one is basara, depending on your dialect. Basara. Okay. So now, I have all of them. I think I'm repeating all of them. So, Basara, I'm going to delete. Banyere, Basara, Deka. Some people just say Deka. In here, Deka. Some people might say just Deka. Okay? Something that has to do is about this. Deka. Okay, it's about, ah, uh, you're giving an estimate, remember. So, in here, Deka, or two bush, about, a, a, like, in two days, let's say, about three, ah, uh, three o'clock, about uh, 75, about 20, you know, something like that, trying to give an estimate. Just about something, you're trying to say something, about something. All right. 
tonite a c a c when you want a c cook a singri anam a singri ona a singri me she is cooking ona a singri anam ah is referring to me anam a singri miss i am cooking then i look at you i say obin na a singri Miss Obina is cooking. A C means cook. Cooking something. Okay. A C Ungri means food. Ungri. Yari Ungri. Come. It's like I'm calling you to come and eat. Okay. Ena a singri. When I look at you, I say, Ena a singri. It means you are cooking. When I want to talk about somebody else, but I'm telling you. And I said to you, Obinna, honor a singri. I'm telling Obinna about another person. Honor a singri means she or he is cooking. Now, when it goes to plural, ha, remember your pronoun, hana a singri. Hana a singri means they are cooking. Ha, they are cooking. Now, if I want to say we, including myself, I'm speaking on behalf of a group. We are cooking. Anye na e singri. Now, when I'm looking at all of you, I'm referring to you all. Oh no, that's a direct talk. talk. But then I'm talking to a group of people. Oh no na e singri. You all are cooking. You guys are joining together cooking. When I want to say you, when I'm looking at you, just one person, singular. E, the I, put the dot on top and underneath. Ena, a singri, means you are cooking. This is singular, direct talk. But when, it, when I'm talking to a group of people, you are talking, addressing a lot of people from two and above. It's supposed to be, oh no, na a singri. Ono ga e singri. Pay attention when you say ono na. It means you are cooking na. But when you say you are going to cook or you will cook. Ono ga e singri. It's not the same as ono na. It's something present. You guys are doing it now. Ono na e singri. But you all will cook the push up. You all will cook. Ono ga e singri. Then if I'm cooking now, I say, anam e singri. I am doing it now. Anam e singri. Ena e singri. Aniga e singri. See that? Us, we. So know all this. You need your pronoun. You need to know your pronoun because you need to use it to start making sentences. You have to know your pronouns, and that's why I'm doing preposition. Because these are something that you use to explain something, used to join something, used to tell a location of something. Okay? So these are what you need. You need preposition to tell you the location of something or where something is located. So this is how you use it. Okay, a C. Anna may singri. My mom na a singri. My mom. It's cooking. Papam na aza olo. My father is whipping the floor. Naza olo. Papam naza olo. Mamam na asa afere. My mom is watching play. Papam na ngummi. My father is drinking water. So you need to know preposition to use it to join what? To use it to tell us what is happening. The action, okay? Yes. All right. All right. Um, uh, he said he met already. Inside. Now I'm going to use another word here. Uh, what is the other word we're gonna use? Uh, let's say something like uh, across. So let's say across. No, I do Igbo first. Who here? Something that is across. Who here? 
is across the road. On or not? But so there are so many ways you can use across. So across. All right. So when you're trying to say, no, I'm going to read. when you're trying to say that I should go across the road to get something, where is the ball? Is across the road. There's on or not? Ofe. So this is two ways to say ofe. Ofe. That's not ofe. This is the same spelling when you want to say soup. But the sound differs, okay? The sound is not the same. Ofe is across. And then I'll tell you two ways you can use uhe. Something that is across another thing. But then if you want to tell somebody to go across the road, Ghana Ofe, Iro. Ghana Ofe, Iro. So I'm going to separate two of them. To give you an example of what you're going to say. Um, so let's say here is across. And then Ofe. I didn't say Ofe. Now listen. Ofe versus Ofe. 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 They are not the same. I know, yes. It's hard. But you do, you can you can sound it. You can do it. Ofe means across. Ofe means soup. The soup you use, you know, you use soup to eat fufu. Okay, so now ofe is across. Uhi. Now if you're making a sentence with you here, this is when you cross like uh, two things like this. In here by all bad here. If you want to tell me that um uh the cross, like if you want to uh, describe the cross, the crucifix, then you tell me, or if you want to tell me about a graph, you say something that is cross, it's just crisscross. Okay, that's it. That's what it is. But if you want to tell somebody that something is across, you have to cross the bridge to get something. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So when you say across the road, On the other side of the road. That's what you mean. Okay. You cannot use this one. You cannot say uhio. You can only say the two sticks across each other. Osisi abuo bara uhio. Let me write it. Osisi. Some people say mpese. Now, when you say osisi, osisi means a tree. Okay. We also have mpese. Thick. So when you say two trees that are across each other, see what I'm saying? Osisi abuwa bara uhiye. Osisi abuwa bara uhiye. It means two trees that you know cross you know, across each other. This is how you're going to use it. You can also say mpisi. It means two sticks. That are across each other. Two sticks across each other. This means sticks. Then OCC means a tree. Now let me do this. OCC abwa bara uyu. Two trees. I remember when I told you uh, when it comes to numbers. Once it's no longer singular, if it's a singular, number comes first. Ofu or otu, osisi. When you're going from singular to plural, now anything two and above, you say two trees. Osisi, then the noun comes before the number. Osisi abwa. That's how you say it. Osisi abwa. So this is. Uhye. We are talking about two trees. It's OCC. Okay, two trees. Across each other. That's what the meaning of that thing is all about. So when you want to say open, like across the road, on the other side of something, you have to cross the road. It is across the road. 
o nona ope iro iro means road ope o is eat the o is always eat she or he depending on the content so it is across okay, so let's put the bomb oh no it is Remember, it's telling you where it is. It's telling you the location. Oh, no, na. Ope, iro. It is across the road. So, don't be confused here. Yeah, that's why I keep make, giving this space. That way, you don't put two of them together. Okay. Oh, no, na. Ope, iro. It is across the road. It's on the other side of the road. Okay. So that's how you say it. And then we have before. Before means tupu. Okay. Tupu. Ono. Eba. Tupu. Ebia. She. You know, so trying to tell her, oh, okay. I was here. Why are you going in front of me? I was here before you. I was here before you. Anom. Eba. Tupu. Ebia. Anom. Eba. Tupu. I was so. Let's do that. I know y'all would like me to write everything. So let's do that one because we have another thing to do, like some expressions. Okay. Before is tupu. Tupu means before. That's what it is. Before. I am here. Are you here? You are here before me. You were here before me. Okay, so let's use I was here before you. Or oh, she's here. You know, she came here before you. So you can say that. But we are using tupu. So you can even use this word to analyze something, to express something. Okay. Anam eba tupuge. Ano eba tupuge. Hano eba tupu ono. So there are so many ways we can use this. One second. Okay. E. Come on. So you're trying to tell somebody, oh, she was here before you. Okay. Oh no, eba tupuge. Tupuge. Oh no, eba tupuge. All right. So she's here. She was here. Oh no. Eba. Eba means here. Tupuge. See, to puge means you. Oh, never to puge means you. Ge. Oh, it's referring to the person you're talking about. You're trying to bear the witness. You're trying to say something, talk, you know, speak on behalf of somebody. Say, oh, never. Why are you going in front of her? She was here before you. He was here. You know, something like that. So that's how you say, oh, no, ever to puge. There are so many words. Uh, you can say after, which is. Ni pazo. After. So we're not going to cover everything. I just want you all to know these ones. If you can at least be able to use these ones that we did today, the next time we finish the rest of them. I don't want to load so much. But I want you to know these few words uh, when it comes to prepositions. Oh, no. So let's punctuate it. And the sound, oh, no. Oh, no. Eba. Okay. Okay. So I will go back to expressions because I'm still uh, finding out that some of you, when I say kedu, 
But when I say Kedo Kaimere, they are still confused. They're not supposed to be confused. Don't be confused. They mean the sentence. So I try to put these expressions together. So we're going to go over some of the expressions today. Igbo expressions. So many things you're supposed to know. Some of the basic expressions. So if somebody walks into your house and say, Hey, Azuka Kedo. Ademuma. Or Keduka Imere. When the person says Keduka Imere, don't get confused. It means the same thing. Kedu is just a short form of uh, Keduka Imere. But Igbo, sometimes we say, oh, Kedu, how? Even though, literally, when you translate it the way, the way the person put it, then it might be like the person say how. It's just because the person did say, how are you doing? Doesn't mean you get lost. Kedu is also the same thing as Keduka Imelo or Keduka Imere. Keduka Imelo, some people will say Keduka Imelo. Imere. Okay? How are you? And your answer should be, Adem, don't, some of you are still standing, saying Adem, ma. No, no, no. Adem, ma. Adem, ma. Not Adem, ma. You have to tell me Adem, ma. Because I'm talking to you direct. I am looking at you, talking to you. Say, Kaduka Imere. Adem, ma. How are you? I am fine. When I ask you, how is your mom? How is your friend? How is your sibling? How is your dad? Somebody else. Then you can tell me Adem, ma. If I ask you, how did, okay, how is it going today? How is your day so far? All the ma. Because all refers to it, she, he. And now when I say, how are you? Can you tell me? You tell me all the ma. No, you can't tell me all the ma because basically you're telling me somebody else. Instead of telling me about yourself. Then if you're not fine, you can say, Adege mumma. Can also say in a negative, it's a negation of it is adegemma. That's negation. And don't forget, say adegemma. The I is referring to you and no other person but you. Adegemma. Ade. Him, Ade, Him, Ma. It means I'm not feeling well. I'm not fine. Ade, Him. The M supposed to be there, referring to me. Ade, Him, Ma. But if I ask you about your mom, how's your mom? Oh, Ade, Him, Ma. It means she's not feeling well. She's not fine. So Ade, Him, Ma means I am not fine. <clears throat> Do not unmute yourself. I don't see why you should make this noise here. Other than that, you are muted. I keep on muting people and you keep on unmuting yourself. Please don't do that. Hello? Okay. Adegem mma. Now, you go to Kaduka Akuko Sregata or Tata. How did school go today? How did school go today? Or how did school go? Your answer should be, it went well. It, remember, this it, 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 I keep on saying that. You can miss it because we call, you keep on uh, repeating. Ogara and comma. Some people say Ogara Ufuma. You can also say Ogara and comma or Ogara Ufuma. Now I'm going to put in comma here. Okay, Oma is also the sentence as Ufuma, the Oma, Ogara nke Oma, or you can say Ogara Ufuma. If it didn't go well, oh, my day is not going well today. Uboshim, anaga go Ufuma, Ogage nke Oma, Onage, Ogage nke, you just tell me, Ogage, Ogage nke Oma, and that is G, G-H-I, not G-I. G means you, G-I means you, the G. 
GHI is when you're trying to put something in a negative form. That's what it is. It didn't go well. Ogage in Ufuma, or you can say Ogage in Koma. Don't use two of them. When you see this uh, backward slash, it means all, oh, this or that. I don't want you to use Ogage Ufuma in Koma. No. You don't use one or the other. Ogage Ufuma, or you can say Ogage in Koma. Depending on your dialect, speak what you guys speak in your house. Now, when I say, can do ebe mama or negeno. Mama means ne, but we use common people, most people use mama. So depending on the one you use in the house. Can do ebe mama geno. Where is your mom or where is your mother? That's basically what I ask. My mom, your answer should be, my mom, depending on where your mom is, if your mom is in the room, my mom nona ime olo. My mom is in the house, in the room. If your mom is outside, my mom nona ezi. Some people say ilo. My mom nona ilo. Or my mom nona ezi. Okay. Uh, then if it's like somebody is outside. Okay. My mom nona useku. Useku means kitchen. My mother is in the kitchen. If your mom is sitting down, my mom is sitting down and it's beside me. My mom no nakokom. My mom no nakokom. So depending on the location where she is, papa no nakokom, papa no na olo. Then if your mom is in the uh, car, my mom no na Obo ala. Obo ala means a car, motor. So obo ala means a car. Obo elu means airplane. Obo elu means airplane. Um, obo miri means the ship. Okay, so this is how you pronounce all this. Obo ala means a car. Obo elu means airplane. Oba Miri means the chip. Okay? All right. So, now, Kedu Ebe Papa. Papa also means Nna. Kedu Ebe Nage Or Jere. You can say Jere. You can also say Gara. They are all the same. They mean the same thing. Kedu Ebe Papa Gara. Where did your dad go? Where is your dad? Okay, where did he go? Papa nona olo. You're telling me your father is at home. That's what it is. My father is in the house. Okay. Papa poro apo. Some people say papa jere in here. Papa poro apo. You can miss he went somewhere. Apo apo. My dad went somewhere. If you want to say papa mogara nzuko, nzuko means meeting. Okay. Now you can say Papa September, September. Okay. Papa Mogara Nzuko. Papa, that M is possessive. It's referring to you. Papa Gara Nzuko. Nzuko means a meeting. We are we are the gather. We went for, you know to a meeting. So that's Papa Ngara Nzuko. Uh, you can say Papa Ngara Obako. Some people call it Obako. I will write that one too. Nzuko. So Papa Ngara Nzuko. Okay. Or you can say Obako. Obako. Some people say that. Oba. And then we need to concept this Oba. Obako. Papa Ngara Nzuko. Mobu Papa Mogara. Obako. Obako is where they gather, like a meeting. My father went to a meeting. Obako.
All right. My father went to a meeting. Okay, so that's what it is. Now, when I say Ginika in echi, what are you doing tomorrow? Ginika in echi, echi means tomorrow. What are you doing tomorrow? Then you answer, Agamaga or Agameje or some people say all. It means I will go to work. I will go to work or I will work tomorrow. Agamaro all echi. I will work tomorrow means Agamaro all echi. And you want to say, Agam, Aro, Aro, Oro, Oro, Echi. It means, I will walk tomorrow. That's what it is. Agam, Aro. Some people say, Agam, Aro. And join audio. All right, each other. Stop blah, 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 I'm sorry, everyone. I'm trying to remove the person of the class. Okay. Agam alo alu H means I will walk tomorrow. All right. Then Agam Ezuike H. Agam Ezuike means I will rest tomorrow. Agam Aga or Agam Ejenulo Enim. I will go to my friend's house. So these are some of the ways you say things. And I would like you to go over this place. When I post the notes, go over it, go over the lesson. And then I will send you something to do, but not now. Now, at this number seven is Om Na Igwe Opu Wane Echi. Wane Echi means next tomorrow. Um, miss, call me. Um, miss, call me. Na igwe oku. Call me on the phone. Igwe oku means phone. That's what it is. Igwe oku means phone. Next tomorrow. Okay, now, if you have a question, please. I don't want anybody to unmute, but if you have a question, this is time. For you, raise your hand, you raise your hand, then I'll let you ask question. No talking. You have to ask question. Without talking, please. Now you can ask questions. This is time. Okay, two people raising their hands. And uh, okay, Chinem. Uh, wait, let me see. Chinem, Madam, we go after Chinem, Madam uh, Zara, and uh, Adugo. Ikechi, we ask, we ask question. Okay, Chine, madam. Chine, madam. Ah, humble, Chine, madam. Eh, where am I, Juju? Okay, I'm going to judge you, John. So do we have homework today? No, Chine, madam, do you have it? We don't have homework yet. I said, when I post the note, I want you to go over the note and the lesson. And then I give you a homework. Okay. All right. Uh, Zara, Chizara, your turn. Um, Bubo, Chizara, okay. Um, so my question is, in Evo, do we, do we have, is it, so we call the dad Papa, Papa? Yeah, you call Papa. In Igbo, dad means Papa or Nna. Okay. But if you want to say my father, my dad, or my, my, you say my dad. You say papam. That's when you put mm, that M. It's, it's referring to my. But you want to call your dad. You say papa. Or if you want to call your mom, you say mama. You see that. But if you want to say my mom, you say mama. If you want to say my dad, papam. Or if you want to say my father, papam. 
Okay. Yeah, but, okay. but a father means papa or nna. A mother means mama or nne. Okay. Ikechi. A humble Ikechi ever ever has to do. Okay, Ikechi ngwa joa jojo. Um, can you repeat how to say what are you doing tomorrow? Okay. Gene means what? Gene ka ine eme echi. Gene ka ena eme echi. It means what are you doing tomorrow? It's there. I wrote it there, okay? Okay. Okay. But for, also for number two. Okay, go on. For, also for number two, I know, like, to say it went well is... All gara ufuma. You can say, I don't, all, you can say all gara ufuma, or you can say all gara nke oma. That's why I put both of them there, okay? You can say okay. all gara ufuma. Okay. All right. Ah, uh, do go. A humble, a do go. I learn, I do go. How do you say um, my dad went to work in Ibo? Papam gara oro. Papam gara oro. That's how you say it. Papam gara oro. Oro means work. So papam gara. Or can you repeat that? I do okay. Ah, uh, Chiamaka Chiamaka, you're raising your hand. I don't know. Um, I have uh, um, Chiamaka. Uh, my question, my question, I have two questions. Uh, my okay. first question is, um, do you remember um the king in the Bible mm -hmm. whose name is Nebuchadnezzar? Nebuchadnezzar, huh? Mm -hmm. Um, is that an evil name? Because I'm really I'm, I'm really curious. Nebuchadnezzar. Um Nebuchadnezzar is the name in the Bible, it's not an evil name, no. Okay. Um <laughs> also my next question is you know Ofuma, right? O F U M A. Ofuma, yes, O F U M A. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, um, my family and I, oh, we say it differently. Is that fine? Like we say Ofuma, will you guys say Ofuma? Is that how? Do, tell me how your parents say it. Ofuma, like my whole Ofuma. family. So Ofuma. they put they put all they put mm -hmm. dot underneath it. Okay, good. Yes. I want okay, you, I'm just asking I want you to say it the way your parents are saying it. Okay. 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 Because I don't want to like say it wrong. No, no, that's fine. I want everybody to speak their dialect. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You know, when, how do you say thank you? Dalu. And okay. also, you know, uh, for Kedu. Just do pull up. Sorry. Go ahead, go ahead, Chama. You know, uh, I'll meet yourself, Chama. You know, when you say Kedu, like Kedu Kemere, mm -hmm. I usually answer Ofuma or I. Aha, that's uh -huh. good. That's okay. good. All I want you to know is how, what it means. And then you can you can say Ofuma. Yes, that's okay. Right. You don't thank have you. to say at the moment. Dalu. You can just say Ofuma. Okay. Dalu. Email. That's a wonderful question. Okay, Agama, who needs yours? Okay, Messiano. Okay, Messiano, call the arm. Email. I have another class. 